New details on that massive volcano eruption off the coast of Tonga. NASA now estimating the blast was equivalent to 10 megatons of TNT, even more powerful than an atomic bomb. Matt Gutman is in nearby Fiji, where rescue crews are staging relief efforts right now. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Cecilia. Scientists tell me this is a once in a century eruption. So powerful, it rattled windows, shook walls here in Fiji, 500 miles away. It was heard all the way in Alaska. And with these new images, the first on the ground coming in, we are also learning that it could take a month to restore communications in Tonga. And some of those outlying Tongan islands completely wiped out. This morning, the first images out of Tonga. Streets impassable with rubble, cars smothered in ash, homes destroyed. The Tongan government finally able to release its first statement, saying that with internet and phones still down, it has yet to make contact with some islands. And for the first time describing near 50-foot tsunamis, swamping islands of emerald green with brown sludge. These images showing those shipping containers swept up like Legos. The airport smothered in ash, homes wiped out. And those tsunamis raced thousands of miles across the Pacific, leaving at least three dead and several injured and missing, according to the U.N. Among the missing, 11-year-old Gordon Law, too. His mom, who lives in the U.S., anxiously waiting to hear from her son. It's really hard, especially when you have an 11-year-old son out there. I can't sleep. I just stay up and think about him. The shockwaves from Saturday's eruption circling the globe. It really had to have result from the very rapid contact of quite a lot of magma with seawater. Put all of that together, the explosion must surely have been one of the loudest things that happened in the last century. With its airport buried under ash, ships from Australia and New Zealand racing aid to Tonga to help its 100,000 residents living across 169 islands. But that relief effort could be complicated by the country's COVID-19 restrictions. We're not sure that we can send flights with personnel. Tonga has a very strict COVID-free policy. They're one of the few countries in the world that's remained COVID-free. So this is not only a massive humanitarian challenge for Tonga, it is also a moral dilemma for its government. They've managed to keep basically COVID-free the past two years with a single case. So the question they have now is, do they allow in foreign aid groups who can bring in supplies, but also COVID? Guys? Single case. Wow. Thank you, Matt. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.